Hello, thank you for joining with me. We are in A Course in Miracles, and today we are on Lesson 30. God is in everything I see because God is in my mind. And we are going to do our random selection of the text. Chapter 8, The Journey Back. Section 9, I believe, The Body as Means or end in paragraph five i seem to gravitate toward five it is still true that the body has no function of itself because it is not an end the ego however establishes it as an end because as such its true function is obscured this is the purpose of everything the ego does. Its sole aim is to lose sight of the function of everything. A sick body does not make any sense. It could not make sense because sickness is not what the body is for. Sickness is meaningful only if the two basic premises on which the ego's interpretation of the body rests are true. One is that the body is for attack, and two is that you are a body. Without these premises, sorry, sickness is inconceivable. So somebody needed to hear that, and it could have been me. Dear Father, if left to my own devices, my perception will be skewed. I surrender to you everything that I think and feel. God, please take my past, plan my future, send your spirit to redeem my mind that I might be set free. May I be your channel, God, and serve the world. May I become who you would have me be, do what you would have me do, go where you would have me go, and say what you would have me say, and to whom, dear God. Thank you for bringing us together today. Amen. Lesson 30. God is in everything I see, because God is in my mind. The idea for today is the springboard for vision. From this idea will the world open up before you, and you will look upon it and see in it what you have never seen before. Nor will what you saw before be even faintly visible to you. Today we are trying to use a new kind of projection. We are not attempting to get rid of what we do not like by seeing it outside. Instead, we are trying to see in the world what is in our minds and what we want to recognize is there. Thus, we are trying to join with what we see rather than keeping it apart from us. That is the fundamental difference between vision and the way you see. Today's ideas should be applied as often as possible throughout the day. Whenever you have a moment or so, repeat it to yourself slowly, looking about you and trying to realize that the idea applies to everything you do see now or could see now if it were within the range of your sight. Real vision is not limited to concepts such as near and far. To help you begin to get used to this idea, try to think of things beyond your present range as well as those that you can actually see as you apply today's idea. Real vision is not only unlimited by space and distance, but it does not depend on the body's eyes at all. The mind is its only source. To aid in helping you to become more accustomed to this idea as well, devote several practice periods to applying today's idea with your eyes closed, using whatever subjects come to mind, and looking within rather than without. Today's idea 
applies equally to both. Lesson 30 in A Course in Miracles workbook for students. God is in everything I see because God is in my mind. The springboard for vision. I love you. Thank you for joining with me.